Open Virtual Switch, OVS. OVS examples, we're going to start by looking at OVS switch and virtual ports. We're going to start by looking at the first example whereby we have a standard stack connected through to Ethernet port 0. It must be in Linux, so let's use ifconfig to check. And there it is, Ethernet 0 is up and running and it has an IP address. Let's see if the IP stack can see the outside world. So we'll ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and that's working. So we have routability to the outside world, which is all good. OK, so what are we going to do? We're going to modify the switching behavior. We're going to bring in an open virtual switch. We're going to call that switch my bridge. And we're going to bring that up. We'll check that's working. And then we're going to add Ethernet 0 to the virtual switch. We're going to take Ethernet 0's address away from it. And we're going to uh, enable MyBridge as a DHCP client. So it gets an IP address, check its routability, and then ping to the outside world if all is good and dandy. So the first thing we're going to do, using the elevated command, so using sudo OVS VS kettle, and we're going to add the bridge, so let's add bridge. The bridge is called my bridge. And that's been accepted, so let's bring that up. So sudo again, ifconfig, my bridge, and up. And that's good. So let's check that, ifconfig, and there we can see my bridge is up and available. No IP addresses yet, but it does have a hardware address, it does have a MAC address. So the next thing we're going to do is again sudo OVS VS kettle and we're going to add the port and the port of course is Ethernet 0 to the switch my bridge. So my bridge first and Ethernet 0 follows which is good. That's been accepted. So let's see if we can ping to the outside world as we did before. And that's not working as expected as we've modified the internal behavior. OK, nothing back there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take Ethernet 0's address away from it. So we set that to 0. And now we're going to make MyBridge a DHCP client. So it should automatically get its IP address. Let's check that using ifconfig. And there we can see straight away MyBridge has an IP address. OK, the fact that it's the one that Ethernet 0 used to have, because that no longer has an IP address, as we can see from its configuration. So let's ping. Let's ping the outside world as we did before. And let's see. Yep, it's all working. So that's good. So now the IP stack is, is essentially routing via MyBridge, as we can see. That's the output of the command root minus n. Then we can see the default gateway statement, and that's going out to the default gateway for this subnet, which is 192.168.1.254. All is correct. So that's good. We've now got a switch, but let's make use of that switch or make it available for VMs. So now we're going to add some virtual ports to that switch. So the virtual ports come in the shape of vports. Uh, we're going to use Tuntaps to add those in. Uh, we're going to need to bring them up and then we're going to make them available to the MyBridge OVS. So let's start that process off. The first thing we're going to need to do, of course, is again using an elevated command. It's IP Tuntap. And we're going to add the mode is tap and the port is vport1. As we've entered the vport1, we can easily add vport2, just by simple amend, and then we're going to bring those up. So ifconfig vport1 and up, and the same is true for vport2 with a slight amendment. There we go. Job is done. Okay, so let's just check to see if we've got those. So I have config. Yep, there they are. Underneath my bridge, we can see the two V ports available for use. Okay, but they're still not connected to my bridge. So 
are there, but we need to make them or connect those through to MyBridge. So sudo OVS VS Kettle and show just to see what's happening. There we go. Okay, so we can see that MyBridge, we can see that Ethernet port 0 is associated, but as yet we can't see our V ports connected. So sudo OVS VS Kettle and it's back to add port. MyBridge and of course V port 1 and repeat for V port 2. So lo and behold those should now be available and if we go and show again we should be able to see V port 1 and V port 2 are interfaces that are available to the MyBridge switch. And there they are, just highlighted to prove that they are available to us. Good, and there it is on, on bridge, my bridge. So all these dandy. So those would now be available for VMs. So if we were using VMware or Oracle uh, VirtualBox Manager uh, against a particular VM, we'd be able to then go in on the interfaces and see those interfaces available to connect to. Okay, and that really brings us to a close as far as the installation is concerned, but perhaps a few commands to try out to check what's now being configured. We saw the OVS VS Kettle show command. So sudo OVS app kettle fdb forward slash show. Oh, let's uh, should do that against my bridge, of course. And there we go. We can see the the ports available and the how long they've been up for my bridge. Sudo OVS OF. So this is OpenFlow kettle show my bridge. Ah, a little bit more information here. Yeah, and we can see the individual ports. They can see their status. They're currently down because they're not being consumed by anybody. You know, if we attach those to a VM, they would be up and running. Uh, again, sudo OVS OF kettle, and this time we could dump the flows for MyBridge. Uh, we haven't installed any flows as yet, but if we came back and looked at those once we started doing flow management, we'd be able to see those flows through this command. So there we go with IF config to finish off. And again, we can see my bridge and the two associated ports. Root minus N, and again, we can just see that again, it's using my bridge to leave. And just a final confirmation, the ping commands are working. Obviously the V port additions haven't changed that. We can also check to make sure that DNS is working because that would need to resolve the domain name there for Ray Castle and to an IP address, and it's all working. So in summary, the IP stack now uses the OVS switch to get to the outside world via Ethernet port 0. The OVS switch also has V ports 1 and 2 available for VMs to use. So there ended part 1 of our OVS example.